Hi, you guys. This is Prophetess Afia Sabrina Acapo and wanted to bring you a prophetic word that the Holy Spirit spoke into my spirit on today and asked with any prophetic word, you would absolutely want to go to the Lord in prayer, testing the spirit to affirm and confirm that this prophetic word is perhaps for you. And the title of this prophetic word is You Are God's Handy Work Created to Do Good Works. You are God's handiwork created to do good works. And so you guys, I began meditating on Ephesians, the second chapter. And the Holy Spirit unctioned me as soon as I got to a particular scripture. It unctioned me on us being the Lord's handiwork created to do good works in Ephesians 2, 8 through 10. And I'm going to start off with this scripture. For it is by grace you have been saved through faith. And this is not from yourselves. It is a gift of God, not by works, so that no one can boast. For we are God's handiwork created in Christ Jesus to do good works, which God has prepared in advance for us to do. Whew. I'm feeling it. The fire. So we are handcrafted and handpicked specifically by the Lord himself, created in his image and in his likeness to perform before we were formed to bring forth the gifts and talents that was deposited on the inside of you. We are new creations that have the saving grace of God filled with the Holy Spirit and by his grace through his kindness, you would obtain beyond comparable riches. We are his workmanship designed and we are his creation to do good deeds, charity, and goodwill to help others that are in need. So the Lord planned in advance long ago for us to walk in the life he had made readily available that was pre arranged it's walking on the straight and the narrow path that he has set forth for us long ago so this was predestined this was pre-arranged know that you are a master art you are a masterpiece renewed and transformed along with being reborn and set aside for the master's use to do good works and I heard the Holy Spirit say we were transformed and we were renewed even in our minds to do the acceptable and the perfect will of God. And this is Romans 12 and 2. And this is just paraphrasing it. So it's all about maturing spiritually and Progressively growing along with focusing on godly and ethical principles along with values. Leading you to be able to discern for yourself the good work that the Lord has for you to do. So allowing your behavior as well as your mindset to be in line with the will of God because the will of God will never take you where his mind and his heart will not protect you in the mighty name of Jesus. And I hear the Holy Spirit giving me the greater works. And that took me to John. 14 and 12, truly, truly, I say to you, whoever believes in me will also do the works that I do and greater works than these will he do because I'm going to the father. So you are God's handy work. Know that this is who you are, you are God's handiwork created to do good works in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. 
know that in order to do these works, you definitely have to have the mindset. You definitely have to walk in the principles and the ethics of God to be able to make those rational decisions with discerning what it is that God has deposited in you on the work that he wants you to bring forth and that he is wanting you to do. In the mighty name of Jesus. Like, share, and subscribe, you guys. Like, share, and subscribe, you guys. And don't forget to hit that noti bell where you guys can be notified each time I upload a video, you guys. Know that this was pre-planned. This was predestined. Even before we were formed in our mother's womb, God already knew what it was that he wanted us to do, what he wanted us to bring forth and it was through his saving grace and it was by our faith who jesus i feel the fire on this so know that we were handcrafted we were handpicked by the lord himself by the lord himself to bring forth the gifts and talents that he has deposited on the inside of you. Know that when you came, when you became a part of him, you became a new creation for old things have passed away. Thank you, Holy Spirit. He says, behold, all things have become new. So this is the new you by the saving grace of God. Fill with the Holy Spirit. To be able to obtain the comparable riches of what was inherited to you. We are his workmanship designed. We are his creation to do good deeds, good will, to do charity, to help the for the needs, to help the needs of others. So know that this thing was planned in advance. For us to be readily available and readily prepared to walk in the life that he has already prepared, predestined, and purposed for us in advance. In the mighty name of Jesus. Like, share, and subscribe, you guys. Like, share, and subscribe, you guys. And I love this. Know that we are a master art. We are a masterpiece. We are renewed and we are transformed. Do not be conformed to the patterns of this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. Because if your mind is renewed, if you have that kingdom mindset, you'll be led on the straight and narrow path to righteousness for his name's sake. For his word says, Yea, though I walk through the valley and through the shadow of death, I will feel no evil, for thou art with us, thou rod and thou staff, thou comfort us, thou preparest a table before us in the presence of our enemies. Thou anointest our head with oil and our cup runs over. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we will dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. If we're walking on that straight and narrow path, and our mindset is on the things of God, and we're walking on a straight and narrow. Nothing will be withheld from us. We'll be readily available to walk circumspectly into all that he has predestined, prearranged, and prepared and purposed for us to do. The question is, he's asking, with those things, are you ready? Are you ready? Because the time is now. You are God's handiwork created to do good work. And all that he has deposited in you, all that he has prearranged, all that he has prepared, all that he has purposed for you, you are ready to bring forth all everything, all the gifts and talents, because he has gave you his glory. He has gave you his power. He has gave you his, you have his grace. You have his mercy. You have already been saved by his grace. And it was through your faith. Hebrews 11 and 1, that now faith it is the substance of things hoped for. It is the evidence of things that are not seen. Know that you are God's handiwork created to do good works. And this thing was prearranged and predestined and pre-prepared in advance. You were handcrafted. You were handpicked. You have not missed. Because you chose him. You chose to stay faithful over a few things. Now he's making you rule over many. Know that you are God's handiwork 
created to do good works in the mighty name of Jesus. Like, share, and subscribe, you guys. Like, share, and subscribe, you guys. Welcome, 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 welcome to all of my new subscribers, you guys. Welcome to the fam. I pray that this word has absorbed, permeated, and saturated in your spirit because I'm telling you, God is miraculously amazing and he wants you to know that you are a work of art you are a master art and you are a masterpiece you are renewed and transformed you have been reborn for this you have been set aside for this you are renewed for this you have been set aside for the master's use to do the good works that he has created you are god's handiwork created to do good works that was pre arranged that was pre destined and purpose for you to do with the gifts and the talents that he has deposited on the inside of you i'm telling you this word right here I received, let me tell you something. I received this word right here for myself because I'm feeling something like you learn something every day, but I'm telling you when these rhyme words get to popping up and especially when I get to meditating on these scriptures of Ephesians 2, 8 through 10 and those rhyme words get to popping in your spirit and they get to absorbing and permeating and saturating, let me tell you, nothing will be withheld from you. You'll start getting creative ideas and witty adventures coming from every which away because it is God that's pouring into your spirit. Via the Holy Spirit. Know that he has something better for you. Know that all things are brand new. Know that you are a new creation through his saving grace by your faith. You are God's handiwork created to do good works in the mighty name of Jesus. Like, share, and subscribe, you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you for all of the comments, the likes, the shares, the subscriptions, the words of encouragement, the prayers. Keep the messages coming. I appreciate all the... I appreciate you guys. I love you guys dearly. Thank you for continuously sowing into this ministry. Lord, I want to take the time out to thank you, to magnify you, to glorify you, to adore you, to exalt your holy name, for you are worthy to be praised. If it had not been for you being on our side, Lord, where would we be today? We thank you so much that you have created us as your handiwork to do good works in the mighty name of Jesus. I love each and every one of you guys. I am constantly praying for each and every one of you guys. I will definitely be back with another one for you guys, but definitely let this permeate and saturate and absorb in your spirit and take this rhema word with you that you are God's handy work. You are handcrafted. You are a work of art. You are a masterpiece. You are renowned created to do good works by the grace that God has already placed on your life, by his glory, by his power, by his mercy to do good works that you were predestined, prearranged, and purposed to do for the new you, for the new and improved you. You are God's handiwork created to do good works in the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. I love each and every one of you guys once again. I am constantly praying for each and every one of you guys. Happy Monday evening, you guys. By the way, you guys. Until the next one, you guys. We will definitely talk a little bit later. God bless each and every one of you guys richly. Shalom.